in terms of launching a new product, it's all completely new to me. I borrowed so much money to do this. Last year at one point I thought, you know, you potentially could, could lose everything. It's cost a lot more to develop than we ever imagined. One of the things I'm most scared of is falling at this last hurdle. That's me, all or nothing, unfortunately. It's kind of go big, go home. Hi, Dragons. My name's David Audsley, and I'm the inventor of the DAO, the Daily Appliance Intelligent Organiser. And I'm here today to pitch for a £75,000 investment for a 20% share of my business. A staggering 650,000 house fires reported in the UK are caused directly from unattended hair straighteners, tongs, and in some cases, even hair dryers. One of the reasons I invented the product is children that are admitted to hospital with a burn as a direct result of coming into contact with a heated hair appliance in the home. These products get to temperatures of 220 degrees in less than 20 seconds. And I really believe that Deo is the total solution, offering safety, convenience, and peace of mind to all of our customers. Let me take you through it. So the Deo consists of two 300 degree heat resistant silicon cups that will fit pretty much most of the heated hair appliances that are available on the market today. They fit nice and securely into a 230 degree heat resistant fire retardant chassis. Quite often you'll see a lot of people leaving their straightening irons on a mat. A lot of children can just come along and just pull them off. With the Deo, it's designed to be childproof. So actually, even when they waggle it, they can't get it out because they're designed to collapse. They can't burn themselves and they can't pull them out. We launched in March last year, and within the first three months of launching the product, we were featured on ITV this morning in conjunction with Child Safety Week in a piece called Gadgets to Keep Your Kids Safe. Thank you very much for listening. Could I hand you some Deos? Is that OK? Hoping for investment and not a heated debate is David Audsley, with 20% of his company on offer for £75,000. Lovely, thank you very much. No problem. The first to explore the nuts and bolts of the safety-conscious creation is Peter Jones. So, you've clearly got a lot of PR. If you've been on this morning, it's going to sell as much as it's going to sell, well, isn't it? Well, I mean, I think we sold about 70 in the first five or six minutes and then the website crashed. But nobody's working on this full time. I work 50 hours behind a hairdressing chair. David, I'm not looking for excuses. No, sorry, no. It's, I'm it's... just looking for the numbers. No, I can appreciate that. Year one sales of uh, 26,000 pounds. Yes, and a net of minus 25. Minus 25k. And then what year are we in now? Well, we just finished year one. Our books were just audited. How much money have you invested in this? So far, me and Pat, my marketing director, we've put 171,000 pounds into it so far. You've put £170,000 of your own money into this. I've put about £70,000 of my own money into it. I've borrowed so much that I stand and cut more hair than I've ever cut before to make the loan repayments. Well, David, you're in a tough situation. Is this a director's loan in the company? Yes. From me and from Pat. Pat's put £80,000 in. And who put in the rest? I actually borrowed um, 20000 from one of my clients. OK, and what are the terms of that director's loan? How do those get paid back? There aren't any terms in place at the moment because, you know, we really want to see it out there. To be honest, I'm happy to join the back of the queue. Uh, David, I... I think you've got something in your idea. How much stock have you got? At the moment, we've got... In retail, probably £100,000 worth left. I believe in the product. We went up to meet the buyer at Lakeland, but they wanted to pay about nine, £10 for it, and we make it for £12.95 plus VAT. To see whether or not this is a market, mm. so you kind of need to test with somebody and say, OK, I'll sell them to you for £9. Now let's see how many you sell. Yeah. Because, for me, you're already so in debt. And what worries me about that, just so you know, it isn't just the cash. Mm. It's the fact that your state of mind has allowed you to get into that much debt. And therefore, I know, I know that if I put money into your business, mm. we could get into further debt, because that's the place you come from. It's a really solidly well-made product. Yeah. Just a little bit concerned that it might be over-engineered. 
it's quite a lot of product. It, it, it sits, it takes up quite a, lot of, quite a lot of space. I just can't believe that there isn't something, a single moulded piece of silicon, that could do the same thing. This is the thing, you see, we are developing the single. We want to develop the single unit. David, you are already spending more money developing the next product because the first product doesn't work. No, it doesn't. And I promise you, when that product doesn't sell like you think it's going to sell, mm. you'll be thinking, oh, well, if I change this and I add that, it might work. What are you going to do if you don't get investment? What is the plan? Yeah, we're managing the payments. We don't owe any of our manufacturers any money. We've got stock to sell, and then I've put my life and soul into it. But at the moment, you are crushed by this. Mm. And actually, it means that you can't think straight. And that becomes debilitating, not just for you, but also for the business. There are things that are out there on the market which are sleeves, effectively, yes. yeah. for hair straighteners. Yeah. And you can fit tongs in it. The challenge is, is that people aren't buying that. And that's a very simple, very basic product that's actually dead cheap. So when you then come out with something which is an all singing, all dancing version, it's not a proven market yet. So I think for you, it's about sell your stock, pay back as much debt as you possibly can. Don't spend loads more money on developing more and more products. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm out. Another dragon is out, questioning whether David's invention is mainstream or a niche product. Will retail tycoon Tuka Suleiman rescue the entrepreneur's floundering hopes of an investment? I agree it's over-engineered, but I would say to you, cash is king. Yeah. You've got 8,000 pieces in stock? You've actually got, um, I think there's about 3,000 pieces in stock. You said there's 100,000 pounds yeah, of stock? Retail. Yeah, retail. So yeah, 39 It's quite expensive for what it is. I'd say turn that stock into cash. Stop and think. Is this a pipe dream that I'm going to chase? But, but this thing's potentially no, know, going to stop know, housewives but, but, and children. But let's be honest, the sales just speak for themselves. There's not a business there, so for that reason, I'm not going to invest in you, and I'm out. Three dragons down in quick succession. Nick Jenkins was earlier impressed with the product, but is now worried that it's not the ideal safety-first solution. The thing that staggers me is that people are allowed to sell heating tongs yeah. without some device to stop it burning the surface that it's sitting on. I don't. I mean, in a day and age when I'm not allowed to climb a ladder yeah. without a, a, doing a course on how to climb a ladder, it's staggering. My concern is that I want to invest in businesses that have a future. Yeah. I hope the solution, ultimately in the long term, lies with the legislation and the appliance manufacturers rather than with a retrospective solution. So for that reason, I'm out. Four dragons are out as Nick Jenkins acknowledges the problem, but not David's answer to it. Will Peter Jones swim against the tide of rejections and tie up a deal with the ambitious hairdresser? I actually think the product's really good. Do you? It's the sort Thank of thing you. that definitely has a use. Over-engineered, so what does that really mean? It means that, obviously, the cost of the product is an issue for you. Yeah. You are going to have to look at this realistically and say, look, I've not created a business, I've created a product. It's not quite worked out for me. And you need to give this over to people that understand how to place products into the consumer marketplace. License it and carry on with your day job. I can't invest in something like this, but I do think it's a good product. David, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Thank you, guys. Thanks, David. Really appreciate it. In the end, although David's invention won the dragon's admiration, they couldn't get past the debts he's incurred in creating it. And he leaves the den without the backing he was hoping for. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Maybe the pitch wasn't as good as it, it has been. But I believe in the product 100%. We will come back bigger and stronger.